Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about alkoxymercuriation, demercuriation as an ether synthesis uh, technique. In a previous video, I had outlined uh, why it might be challenging to make ethers that are high, uh, that where the oxygen is attached to highly substituted carbons. We don't necessarily, we, we would be nervous or we should be nervous about trying to react. Uh, if we were trying to make diisopropyl ether, reacting isopropyl alcohol with sulfuric acid, as we would probably get a fair amount of uh, elimination competing. Likewise, if we tried to react isopropyl alcohol uh, with some kind of base followed by isopropyl chloride or whatever the, the halide was. Move this over a little bit. We would likewise expect to get a reasonable amount of elimination because elimination is going to compete under these conditions. They're protic, secondary, uh, protic solvents, secondary substrates. Elimination is going to compete with substitution here. So let's discuss another way uh, to do this. There is a variant of the oxymercuriation reaction called the alkoxymercuriation reaction. Uh, and so, yes, I'm starting with a different alkene. Uh, if you remember the alkoxy mercury, mercury, alkoxy mercury, or the oxymercury, whoa. Listen to me, I can't talk. In the oxymercuriation reaction, we, have, we react an alkene with water and a mercury acetate, followed by oxidation in aqueous base with uh, hydrogen peroxide to generate an alcohol. Well, this reaction works, works really well if instead of water, we switch it to uh, an alcohol in the first step. and we get an ether out, uh, having an alcohol as the initial nucleophile. And in fact, other kinds of nucleophiles can react with the, the mercurinium ion that forms as well, but we, we care about alcohol. So if we were trying to make this diisopropyl ether or any other highly substituted ether, we might start with the alkene and in our first reaction, we're gonna have mercury acetate, but our alcohol, or our R, oops, let me draw it down here and move it, is going to be isopropyl alcohol move my mercury over. And then when we do the deep mercuriation step, remove mercury, we are going to have added the alkoxy or the isopropoxy group at the more substituted spot, uh, make diisopropyl ether. This reaction works because the alkoxy mercuriation reaction follows the Markovnikov rule. which means that this nucleophilic, the nucleophilic attack is gonna happen at the more substituted spot. And so that means you're going to be able to make ethers at secondary and tertiary positions without having to worry about carbocations, elimination, and, and other complicating factors. In the next video, uh, we'll walk through a couple of example uh, ether synthesis problems and pick out the best approach 
to synthesize those ethers, and then we'll move on into the reactions of ethers. Thank you for watching.